Hello. We're back. Wait. Hello. Good evening. Hello, Paul. Can you hear me? Hello, darling. Thank you for joining again, guys. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, thumbs up. Good. Awesome. Okay, good. I don't know what happened. Can you hear me, guys? Let me know. Thumbs up. Say hello. 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 Okay. So, I believe you can hear me. Thank you. Yes, we're back. I don't know what happened there, but technology sometimes. Hello, Cecile. Hello, Jefferson. Adiola, yes. Thank you very much for letting me know that you can hear me. Thank you all for coming back. Please start sharing as you're coming in. Please start sharing because some people may think that we're not coming on at all this evening, not knowing that there was a glitch. So please, please, please share, share. And invite other people as well, even people that you know will get notification. Please invite them right now. Please, thank you. Hello, 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 hello. Thank you. So today is going to be a book review and the book title, can you believe it? No one is better than you. I'm really happy about this title. I just like hearing no one is better than me and everyone knowing that no one is better than them, there will be no competition because we are all great. Thank you, Anne-Marie. Thank you very much for letting me know. God life, good morning. Oh, sorry, good evening. Bafo, good evening. Jake, good evening. I was reading, almost reading what you said. Hello, 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 hello. Good evening, everyone. Muhammad, good evening. Anastasia, thank you for joining again. Good evening. Thank you all. Thank you all. Stella, good evening. So we're going to get started. We've already lost a few minutes. So let's get started without further ado. Hello, Ufoma. Good evening. Thank you for joining. I'm going to turn the camera in a little bit. Hello, Paul. Good evening. So I'm happy everyone can hear us. They can hear me now and they will be able to hear Dr. Sunday. So, guys, please share because the numbers are a little bit low, lower than usual. And this title, everybody needs to hear. Everybody needs to hear about this book. The book is already available on Amazon. You can get it electronically. So, go for it. Um, go for it right now. It's titled, No One is Better Than You. Wow. Nobody is better than you. No one. No one. No one. Doesn't even matter who they are. No one is better than you. So comforting. I can't wait to read this book just to know what the content is. Actually, before we do that, we're having a book review now. So let's see. I'm going to turn the camera to Dr. Sunday. Now. Bye, the back. That's so I'm going to go with the back. Hello, everybody. Sunday, Elijah here. Uh, I hope you can hear still. I'm trying to get the microphone closer to myself. Well, uh, so the book, like my wife said, is called No One Is Better Than You. No One Is Better Than You. And we have the advert somewhere there. I'm sure the, the picture of the book should be, uh, okay, you cannot see the picture there, right? Let me try to get the picture of this book for you. No one is better than you. Uh, Sister Adeola did a great, great, great job with the book. No one is better than you. And so I'm going to show you the picture of it. No one is better than you. So what is this book about? If no one is better than you, is it about 
when you look at it, at first you might think, you might be tempted to think that this book is talking about uh, self-worth. No, but I'm going to surprise you. This book is actually not talking about self-worth. So when it says no one is better than you, it's actually talking about something that is much more deeper. It has a deeper, deeper meaning of what the book is about. Let me first of all show you the... Uh, like I said, I'm going to show you the cover. Okay, I don't know if this cover is good enough. But can you see? No one is better than you. I have another option. No one is better than you. <laughs> no one is better than you. That is the name of this book here. No one is better than you. No one is better than you. But the secret about this book that will make it an amazing bestseller and that will really shock a lot of people is that it was actually a longer topic which I shot in. I decided to shot in it. And the reason why I decided to shot in it is because the book is actually not just called No One Is Better Than You. The book is actually called No One Is Better Than You, comma, they only converted better. So this book is more than self-worth book. This book is more than, oh, no one is better than you, you're as good as anybody else. No, this book goes much more deeper than that. This book goes to the fact that other people who are better than you, they are better for one reason. The only thing, if, even though no one is better than you, but that one is no news that no one is better than you. The fact that uh, Bill Gates is not better than me because he was created by God and I'm created by God, that is no news. No one is better, and that I'm not better than you, you know, because we are both in the image and likeness of God. There is no news in that. So what is it in this book that, will, what would this book reveal to us? If no one is better than me, but I see that there are people who are richer than me now, but I see that there are people who are higher than me. There are people who are doing better than I do. So what do you mean they are not better than me if they are doing better? That is exactly what this book is about. So is that no one is better than you, but there is something they did that made them to perform better, to look better, to appear better than you. There is something they actually did right. If you could get what right, what they got right, you will discover that they are not just be not better than you in theory. Oh, okay, we are all children of God, they are not better than me. But they will not be better than you in real life and in practice as well. So no one is better than you. The, the only reason why they, are, they look or appear to be better than you is because they converted better. They converted better. So no one is better than you, sure. But if you are not converting... <laughs> It doesn't matter how many promises you claim. It doesn't matter how many you know, confessions you make. It doesn't matter how many times you say, oh, they are not better than anybody. You can say anything. You can do incantation as much as you want. If you are not converting, all that people will be, on, <laughs> they will be undermining you and they will be overtaking you left, right, and center. They will just be overtaking you and defeating you and leaving you behind. You will be there and say, in the name of Jesus, the Lord say, I'm the head, I'm not the tail. I am, uh, 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 you know, I am, you know, this and that. I am a child of God. I have the mind of Christ. If you are not using that mind to do anything, if you are not using and applying your mind, if you are not using your mind to, you know, to convert, if you are not, you know, processing things with your mind, you will discover that everybody else is leaving you behind. So, no one is better than you. What makes them? What makes them to be richer than you? What makes them? To, you know, what makes people to be poor or rich? What makes people to be, you know, doing better than you? The reason is that. So, what I'm talking about in this book is that if no one is better than me, no one is better than you. 
Why is it that some people are successful and some people fail? Why is it that some people are rich, some people are poor? The first one of the chapters, let me give you one of the chapters in this book. It says, everybody has an equal wealth. All of us have the same equal amount of wealth. Every one of us have the same amount of wealth. And that wealth is the wealth of time. It is what, it is what they did with the time that determined and that decided who they are and why they are doing better than you. It is all about what they did with their time. It is all about what they did with their time. So what should we do with time? What should we do about our time? The only thing that is required for us to do with time is to convert time. Is to convert time. So how do we convert time? Like what I'm doing right now, I'm not just doing live broadcast though. So if you don't know me and you don't know the principles that are making me to do this thing I'm doing, you might think, Pastor Sunday is coming out twice a day. Ah, why is he doing this thing now? And why what's he really doing? But me, I know what I'm doing. I am actually just converting time. And it is that time conversions, that, that time conversion that makes you to know that, that determines who you are. Either you are going to become better than others or others are going to be better than you or not. It, it all depends on time conversion. It all depends on time conversion. So it is the time conversion that determines uh, who you become and if you are going to be better than others or others are going to be better than you. So the greatest um, uh, wealth that, ev that is available to everybody else is time. And it is what they do, what we all do with that time that determines if we are going to be rich or poor, if others are going to be better than us or we are going to be better than others. It is all about if we know the secret of con time conversion or not. So, like I said now, this one now I'm going to be spending with you here, some people might think that it's just live broadcast I'm doing. But I say I am doing conversion. So what am I doing? I am taking time and making time into a product. This one hour or two hours I spend with you every day, I am actually using that one hour to produce a product. So the question I have for you, I might look at their comments if they will answer my question or not. The question I have for you is this. This one hour that I'm spending with you every evening here, what product am I converting my time into? What product am I producing? What conversion? What is the purpose of this time conversion? That What am I converting my time into? What, what, what is the benefit? What is the conversion here? What is the process of conversion here? What conversion is taking place right here? Because this will say one hour that I'm spending with you here that I know I'm not just doing live broadcast. I'm not just doing, uh, I'm not just coming here to speak on the camera. I know what I'm doing. I am converting time into something. That same one hour is being used by another person who is just jesting and joking and laughing and just sleeping around or just wasting time. That person is wasting time or spending time while I am producing something through conversion. So the question to you who is listening to me right now is, what am I producing? What is this time conversion I'm doing? What is my time being converted into? Are you seeing the comment? They are supposed to be giving me their answer right now. I want to hear your answer. I can't see your comment, but my work can see it. And I want her to begin to read the answers that you are going to provide. What is this one hour or two hour of TV, uh, live broadcast, Facebook broadcast that I'm doing with you? What is it that I am doing? What is it that I am converting the time into? What product will come out as a result of this one hour I'm spending with you? I want to hear your answer. I want okay. to hear your answers. I've got comments. I want to hear, I want to hear your answers. I've got here converting time to val to a value. That's from Infungi that says that. 
uh, Sun Excellences, uh, uh, is talking to somebody, Charles, I am adding value to myself. Joy is saying reproducible reproduct. Um, Pastor Edwin is saying you are adding value into our lives. Anastasia is just repeating the question. Uh, you are producing leaders and comma books. That's Debbie that says that. Timmy says you're converting time to value. Son again says increasing your influence. Evan says impacting knowledge. Son again says influ influence and impact. Pastor Edwin says you're producing yourself into our lives. Baffo says adding value to the DSA family, replication. Son again said influence. None is, no, none is just saying anything though. LC says mentorship. That's it. Those are the people that have replied. Okay. All right. Not bad. Not bad at all. You know, what I'm doing basically is that at this same one hour that I'm spending with you is being used by everybody different ways. The reason why you have come to spend this one hour with me is because you seek to add value to yourself. So by listening to me, I am adding value to you. You are learning something about your life and about yourself. You are discovering something and value is being added to you. That is you are a benefactor of one hour of my life. So I'm investing one hour of my life to add value into you. So what would that benefit me? The reason why people are trying to give me money and I say I don't need money. I have more than money just because I'm giving to you. It is much more better to give than to receive. And by giving to you, I'm receiving more than money. Why? Even though I'm not adding to myself, I'm adding to you. Yes, because the law says if you will give, you are receiving more. Even no, Nobody should give you anything. Even by you just giving, it is more blessed for you to receive than I mean, to give than to receive. So by giving to you, by adding value to you, what I'm doing is that I am taking of my own value I'm creating a certain value system in you and I'm creating a worldview in you. I am creating in you a, 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 a value system. So I am creating the value system of the kingdom of God in you. I am returning you back to your maker. That's number one. What is I'm gaining? I am doing God's service. I am returning you back to God's mindset. That is the number one gain that I have. Number two, I am converting this time, using this time to add value to you. That, that way, I am converting my value system to become your, I'm adding to your own value system. That way, I am helping you to see the world differently and to resolve some, your own, you know, situation, your problem, your, you know, to, to resolve some issues in your life. By doing that, sooner or later, if you see value in what I'm doing, if you see that I'm adding value to you, you will soon begin to respect me. So, my service, one hour that I'm giving to you every day, is yielding me a product of respect. Secondly, that one hour, if I begin, if I keep on adding value to you, and I begin, I keep on helping you and adding value, and you see pro result in your own life, Soon, that one hour that is just passed like this is becoming influence. That's what I'm getting. So, he's becoming influence because I'm now influencing you. Because you see the result, the benefit of my investment in your life. That's number two product. So, I already have one, respect, influence. Number three, I already have two products. Number three product. I am converting this time into added value to you. And by the time you know it, you are becoming my follower. I am becoming your leader or your mentor. Because I am adding value to you. I am making you into somebody that you were never before. I am making you into somebody and giving you some value, added value that you never even knew before. You are gaining so much that you don't want to be without it. You don't want to lose that thing anymore. And because you don't want to lose that value that you are used to getting from me, 
you now begin to follow me. That way you become my follower or my mentee. I become a leader to you. Why? Because I'm adding value to you. This is not even talking about money. I'm not selling anything to you. I'm not saying bring tight. I'm not saying bring offering. But I am already producing product. Then, next product, number four, by the time you begin to follow me like that, you know, Jesus said, follow me and I will make you spend time with me. Follow me. You will become somebody. Who do you become? You become someone who is reflecting and seeing the world the way I am seeing the world. You are becoming a, 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 an image. You are becoming an expression of the God that I am that, that I'm propagating to you. You are beginning to see the world like God sees it, like God has taught me to see it. You begin to see the world like that as well. And that way, your own value systems are changing. And your own behaviors are changing. Your own attitude to the world is changing. And because of that, you are influencing also the world around you. At the end of the day, the greatest product and the greatest result that we have, we, I, just by investing one hour into you, maybe there are ten of you there, or five of you that are following, that are being transformed and changing, and you are living a different lifestyle, that way we are making the world a better place. We are changing the world just by investing one hour every day into you. The world is being changed it's because the world comprises of people. You live with people. The other person lives with people. The other person lives with people. In different countries, we are changing and transforming the world just because one hour is being converted into added value. So that is what this book is about. That no one is better than you. But you can say that for as many as you want. You can say that statement for as long as you want. You can say it from morning to night. Like a mantra. It, nothing will change. It doesn't mean that nobody is better than you. They will still be better than you. Even if you are repeating it, no one is better than you. Better than you from morning to, 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 to evening. You, people are still going to be better than you. So what is the difference then? You must know one of the greatest secrets why other people are doing better than you or why other people are greater than you. And for them not to be better than you in your own area, in your own field, for you not to regret, for you not to be worse than any other person, you must learn this main important secret I just gave you. This is just one of the secrets in this book. One, just one. I have other secrets that I'm going to give you from this book that are in this book. One of the greatest ones that I, give, I gave you today already is the one that we all have the same amount of wealth. We are already, every one of us are already wealthy the same way. The wealth that I'm talking about is the source of all wealth. And the source of the all wealth is time. Is that time being converted or not? Is what determines if people are better than you or not. So that is the number one and the most important principle I'm giving in this book. All of us are rich the same way. We have the same amount of wealth available to us. The same amount of wealth that I have is the same amount of wealth that you have. But that wealth could be converted into different expressions. Like this one hour right now, I've just told you what I converted my wealth into. Or another person might be using this one hour to convert this same one hour that I'm talking now. Somebody is sitting right beside me here. And that person that is sitting beside me might be waving, no, might be designing or making things like this. Making handkerchief. So by in, at the end of one hour, he has made one handkerchief or ten handkerchiefs. So his own time, which is wealth, the same wealth, I converted my own wealth into influence and disciples and mentees but she is converting and converting her own wealth into product, tangible, concrete product that she's going to sell and exchange for money and influence as well. Now, another thing, let's say another person is sitting down there. And that person that is sitting down there, the person is reading book. Reading book. What is he doing? That same one hour that I'm using to preach to you, to talk to you, and she is using it to produce her own product, tangible product. Another person is just using it to read. What is reading? Out of in the in the in the in the in the library. What is doing is she's adding value 
to ourselves. But all those things that we are doing is coming from the same source. And that source is called the greatest wealth available to human beings. And that wealth is the wealth of time. It is time. You, you know, I'm sure you know this already. Time is the greatest wealth that is available to all mankind. And it is time is the raw material or material or raw material from which every other thing is created. So you must learn to create anything you want from time. You must learn to pre create this product from time, from the material, from the raw material of time. You must learn to create people from the raw material of time. You must learn to create house from the raw material of time. You must learn to create anything you want from the raw material, which is the greatest wealth that we all have. That raw material from which everything is created is called time. For example, even this iPad that is here, it is all a product of time. Somebody sat down to design it. That is time. Time was converted into a picture of the iPad or the idea of the iPad. Then some people went to work to put it together, to assemble it. It's time. It's, it's time at somebody's house. So that time, it took time to produce it. That time is the one they, they produce iPad with their time. But at the same time, somebody might be using that time to produce, let's say, this cloth. He has converted time into cloth. This one has converted time into iPad. Another person is converting time into children. Because for you to even have children, you need to spend time with a woman or with a man, somebody of opposite sex. And if you don't spend time together, nothing, a pregnancy will not come. It doesn't come from here, from, from air fly. You know, somebody has to spend time. With, so time is being, and even if you sleep with a woman, it's not enough to convert time, to, to get a child. To convert, you know, to get a child, that, the fact that you slept with somebody, that seed that you planted into that woman needs nine months to become a child, to become a human being. Why? Because time is the one that actually, that baby is a creation of time. That human being that you have, that child that you gave birth into, is a creation of nine months of incubation. So it is time that gives birth to a human being. It is time that gives birth to iPad. It is time that gives birth to this uh, product. It is time that gives birth to, you know, disciples. And time is the wealth, the universal wealth that God has given to everybody. And it is from that wealth that anything that you want to create is made from. So that is one of the, you know, the, the main points in this book that no one is better than you because you already have the same wealth like everybody else. So by why are they doing better? Why are they richer? Why are they better? Is because of what they are converting their time into. Or they are not converting it at all. Some people don't convert time at all. Some people don't even realize the importance of conversion. Some people never even heard of conversion. Some people don't even convert to anything, to anything. They are just walking around life. For you just walking around life and just you know, just walking and going to work, that doesn't mean conversion. It, it, that is why in this book I spoke about job. One of the greatest evil that could happen to you is to get a job because job robs you of your time of your ability to convert because you for you to convert you need time it is time that you need to convert but that time you had mortgaged it out for job you have given it out you have sold it out already you have negotiated, you have given out your time. Eight hours of your day, you have hired it out to somebody else for a peanut that is called salary. So because you had sold out your time for nothing, there is no opportunity for you to convert that time into anything that you want. And you cannot convert that time into the thing that God had put inside of you that you should have brought out to the world. To, to become your own product. You cannot create your own product because you don't have the time. You are sold out the time to what we call job. So, so that's why job is one of the greatest evil that could happen to you. And losing your job is one of the greatest blessings that could happen to you too. And I've written that book. Soon I will release the book. Why losing your job is the greatest blessing that could happen to you. So 
our life, therefore, either is better than other person's life or is worse than other person's life, is all a product of what we have done with time. Either we have wasted time or we have simply spent time or we have invested time or we have even better still converted time. So, have, no, knowing the importance of time conversion or the ability to convert time into desired product is being truly wealthy, is to be truly wealthy. So the next secret of wealth that uh, I mentioned in this book is um, the concept of becoming the best. Because by becoming the best in something, you added value to yourself. And by adding value to yourself, it, is, it also takes time. You have used your time to add value to yourself. You converted your time into becoming best in one thing or the other. And by becoming best in one thing or the other, you have a higher premium. You have a higher premium than other people. So you become better than them because you are converting time into excellence, into diligence. It's all still about adding time to yourself. So are, you, are some people better than you or you are better than other people will depend on how much value you have added uh, uh, to yourself. So there is no negotiation to becoming the best that you could be because until you become the best you are, uh, you are supposed to be, your, your value will not be manifested. You will not be a blessing to the world. And the way to become the best is, again, to convert time into added value to yourself. You convert time by adding value to yourself to become the best version of, your, of yourself. It is when you have converted the most value, I mean, the most time to create the most value in yourself, we say somebody has become successful or somebody has become great. So your greatness is dependent on how much time have you converted or have you invested in adding value to yourself? That's why people always ask me the question, how come you've written so many books? How, can, how come you have so many revelations? Somebody told me that my messages on YouTube, that when you know, this person has been living in, America, in England for 30 years, and he said, I've finished university there, I've done my master's, I'm doing my PhD, but the product, the resources, the teachings of Pastor Sunday that are in, uh, YouTube, he said they are more than all my PhD material. Uh, he's more than first degree, second degree. He's more than all my professors in England have given me. He said he believes that the material, by Professor Sunday's material on uh, YouTube is better than Harvard. That's what he says. And he said, but how come you are able to come up with those kind of material? I said because there is something they call solitude. For 20 years, I will go away for a, for a week every month. And only me and God. So um, I was busy adding value to myself. So it is that added value to myself that is now coming out. That I'm now using to, add, to produce the product of added value or teachings or books to other people. Because I've created. So the more you create value, the more you convert time. So all those one week a month that I was spending in solitude... Other people were doing other things. Other people were doing what? Some people were, you know, sleeping. Some people were going to work. Some people were, you know, laughing about, partying. And how could you know so much? Because I was converting a certain amount of time. It is all about time conversion. Are you, 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 there are three things you could do with your time. Either you are the best way to do it. Either you are using, you are converting time to added value for yourself. To create the kind of human being that you desire for yourself to become. Or to create the kind of human being you, inside you, that God desires to see in you. So that is, you create, I mean, you convert time into added value to yourself. That is number one, the best thing you could do with your life. Number two thing, the best thing you could do with your life is to add after adding value to yourself, now invest that time, convert time into adding value to other human beings. That's what I am doing right now. You don't ever lose. It is more blessed to give than to receive. 
by adding value to other human beings, you don't lose, you gain. And, you know, you don't need money from people. You just need to add value to people. And you're already rich. You're already gaining. That is number two thing you could do with your time. It's all about time conversion. I always tell my disciples, and if you have been following me for some time, you know this, that the most important word you will ever learn in your life is the word conversion. So this book will teach you a lot about that word. Let me show you the book again. No one is better than you. This book will teach you more about that conversion. So I told you, the, the best way you could spend your life is to add value, to convert time to added value for yourself. The second way you could live your, the best of life on this earth is to convert time again to added value to other human beings. The third way, the third thing you could do with your life is to convert that same time to creation of a product or to add in value by creating a certain material, resources, product. That is what people like Steve Gates did. I mean, I mean Bill Gates did. Steve Jobs did. They converted time into, to you, they used that time, they converted it to, into concrete products. iPad, Facebook, all these things. It is time that is being diverted, converted into a certain product or service. That is the third best thing you could do with your life. So it is all about time, right? So that's why in this book I'm talking about, one of the topics I'm talking about is the cancer called African time. Because if you, if African time shows a people that don't understand the value of wealth, that don't see wealth in time, and that don't see that time is the best wealth that is possible, that is given to us by God. So African time is talking about a culture of people that dissipate time, that waste time, that just, you know, just rape and, you know, vandalize time because they don't see the value in it. But that's why we will always be backward. And that is why we will always be in darkness. Because time is not being converted into added value to yourself. Time is not being converted into added value to others. Time is not being converted at all into products. So there are no products. There are no industries. There are no better products. Why? Because no conversion is taking place. And if you are not converting time, it means that you are spending time. Or you are wasting time. Those are the worst things you could do with your life. And so when people talk about African time, that is talking about backwardness. That is talking about lack of civilization. That is talking about lack of productivity, lack of industry, lack of enterprise, lack of progress, lack of added value. It is all things that is wrong with the continent. In fact, I am surprised that nobody has taken over this challenge. I think we should have a thousand people that is just starting NGOs or civil societies just to fight what we call African time. We should have people fighting. In fact, government should be fighting African time like no boy's business. Everybody should be fighting African time because it signifies backwardness. You know, it signifies everything bad with, you know, the African continent. So we should have people that, are, that dedicate their lives only to eradicate this thing that is called African time. Afri time is better and is greater wealth than all the oil in, Afri in Nigeria. Time is a greater wealth than all the gold in, in Ghana. Time is a greater amount of wealth than all the mineral resources in the Congo. Time is a greater wealth than all the diamond in South Africa. There is no greater wealth than time. Raw materials, physical raw materials are nothing compared to the wealth of time. So I'm talking about that in this book as well. Uh, here also I'm talking about the secret of conversion. How to basically and practically convert things 
to whatever you desire on daily basis. Uh, here, I told the story about my seven friends, including me. The seven friends that grew up together in the village of Idomila and what they converted their time to and who became what as a result of that. So, like I said, one of the things I spoke about in this book is that jobs are some of the greatest tragedies that could happen to you. Jobs are robbing us of time. That because you, it's robbing you of time, it's stealing away the time that you could have converted into whatever you wanted to be. Or you could have used to produce the product that, you know, you could, you, that is in you. Time is the wealth that you could have converted to become the picture, the you that is inside you, that God intended, that God put in you, everything that God put inside of you. That time is what you needed to have convert to bring it out and produce something for your world. But because of job, you have sold it out for, for pennies. You sold out your life. You sold out your greatest wealth. And you are, they're giving you some ch chicken change and some pennies. But because you are too tired by the time you come back after eight hours a day, you have so you don't have time to create yourself, to live your own life and become who God wanted you to become. In this book, I also talk about obsession. You must be obsessed with one thing. And it is only one obsession that we all need. The obsession must be obsessed with converting every hour into a concrete product. You must be obsessed by monitoring every hour of your life that you are exchanging every hour that is passing of you in your life to concrete products. Every hour must be, meant, you must control, you must be obsessed that every hour is being exchanged to a certain product. That are you, even if at least maybe you will not start with every hour. Let's say you will start with every month or every week or every year, you know, but you must have some measurement for yourself that, that you are exchanging a certain amount of time that is, must give you some product. You must, your time must always be produced product, must always be exchanged into some product or the other. So that's the only obsession you should have. That obsession is the most important obsession. Uh, another thing I talk about in this book is how to fight for your time and how to fight all the time wasters and all the people who don't, who, who, who don't understand the value of time how to get rid of them from your life <laughs> and create your own life the kind of life that you desire. Because whatever or whosoever controls your time controls your life, right? So also in this book, I'm talking about how the rich and the poor view time and spend time or use time. One of the things I'm talking about here is also the time-wasting habits. What are the habits that steal our time apart from job? Then, of course, how to say no to people. In this book, I spoke about the Mafidons, the professor. You remember the professor that came to my house last time? They, their family, how they convert time, how they use time. I spoke about how Michelangelo converted, used use time. I spoke about how Ludwig van Beethoven yeah, converted time. How Thomas Edison uh, converted time and what they, how they spend time and use time. Philip Emeagwele, how he used time. George Washington Carver and other people are how people use time to create themselves and who they wish to become. Uh, you know, so a lot of things you want to see in this book. I, you know, so many chapters. I have so, so many chapters in this book. Let me see. There are 13 chapters here, you know, so a lot, just a few of the things, of the ideas I gave you. We, we lost a lot of time because of uh, our, uh, you know, computer didn't work and all the technical problem we had today. 
But because I have another program coming up in the next one hour, we have to read to your comments here now and see what you will say about this book and this topic. So let me hear your comments. Let's see what you are going to tell me about what you got okay. from this particular to topic. Okay, Jane says, having a job is the greatest tragedy that ever happened to anyone and losing a job is the greatest blessing that can ha ever happen to anyone. Yeah, I think that's I your quote. It. Yes. I said it. Yes. Yes. Um, in in Fuji says, wasted time on chicken pennies. Cecil says, I've lost, uh, I've lost the sound. I checked the sound, Cecil. I think it's from your side because I just checked it now. Um, being wealthy is having time. Hmm, that's a good blessing saying that. Are you, uh, Cecil is asking others if they can hear. Uh, what is the name of the book? Okay. Kimani, the name of the book is No One Is Better Than You and it's available on Amazon. So you can purchase it now electronically on Amazon. Winfred says, hmm, so profound. Time is greater than all the raw materials available. Or Monica says, I hate African time. I always like to be on time in whatever mm -hmm. I do. Jane says, Afri time, African time signifies backwardness. And so Dr. Sunday says, well done, Jane, for putting the quotes up. Jane says, I am not converting time. It means I am wasting time. Gift again says, we should think of what to do with our time on a daily basis. Wow, wow, wow. Spirit of backwardness. That's from Tammy. Paul says, deadly disease, Africa time. I think that's a quote. Cancer call African time. I think Tammy is repeating the quote from Dr. Sunday. No African time. That's what Paul is saying. Ebenezer says, you're right, sir. Anastasia says, the cancer called African time. Again, that's Dr. Sunday's words. Paul says, conversion. Tammy says, three things you can do with your time. Number one, convert time into added value to yourself. Number two, convert time by adding value to people. Number three, convert the same time to adding value to creation. Jane says, wow. Thanks, DSA. Or Monica says, good evening to everyone. And I say, says, reaching the quote, converting time that that's God's desires to see you in. Invest time to add value to human being. Gift says, time is the greatest treasure that heaven has given to everyone on earth. Wow. That's a Sunday's quote. Jane again says, the concept of becoming the best of myself, adding value to myself, being diligent. Infunji says, solitude equals investment. Timmy says, wow, wow, wow. Time is greatest blessing. It's the greatest blessing. That's gift. Anastasia is reaching a call. Your greatest, your greatest or greatness is determined how much value you have, is, is determined by how much value you have added to yourself. Thank you, Anastasia. Convert time by adding value. Adding value plus excellence equals the concept of becoming the best equals premium quality. Thank you, Anastasia. That's good equation. Ebenezer, you're right. DSA. Concept of becoming the best. That's from Tammy. Time is the greatest wealth. That's a gift. Anastasia again saying wasted time, invest, invested time, converted time. And Pastor Edwin is reminding us all, all us all to share, share, share. So guys, please let's share now. Uchi says job the greatest evil. Lisa, job is slave master. Lisa again says, job is a chain. Kimani says, my God, what a revolution. Revelation, revelation. Timmy says, wow, 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 deep. Job is a crook, Lisa is saying. Jane is saying, time is the universe wealth, wealth that God has given to everyone. Universal, I think, sorry, universal wealth. 
she wrote. Bridget, hmm, my God, oh. Anastasia, as the saying goes, time is money. Ebenezer says, hmm, yes, oh. A lot of homes. Time wasted is a life wasted. Yes, gift. Timmy said, that is so true. This is, time is money. Please share again. That's Pastor Edwin is reminding us of what to share. Thank you, Pastor Edwin. Anastasia says, time is the raw material from which everything is created. That's Dr. Sunday's quote. Thank, thank you, Anastasia. Chris is saying, this is raw material for wealth. Thank you very much. Omorolake Omar, says, yes, sir. Jane says, we all have the same amount of wealth, and the greatest wealth we have is time. It all depends on how I convert my time into tangible products. Okay. This, the, the source of all wealth is time, DSA. That's from Elsie. Thank you very much, everyone. Yes, it, that is the truth, sir. That's what is happening to me. I'm influencing others as well. That's Pastor Edwin saying that. Oh, yes, sir. Cecile is saying, Bridget is saying that. Cecile is saying, mind shift. Isaiah, good afternoon to everybody. Good afternoon. Change your lifestyle. Wow, that's from gift. Seeing the world in a different perspective. That's Noni saying that. Okay, guys. Yes, you're a great mentor. That's Bridget I'm saying that. Hello, guys. Thank you very much for joining us this evening. We've got another program in 55 minutes, um, The Plague of Silence. So Dr. Sunday will continue on that, tight, on that series uh, with a new title. So join us at 9 p.m. Cape time, and that would be 7 p.m. both Nigeria and UK time. So please join us. And guys, please don't forget to join the movement. We have a meeting tomorrow. I'll be sending out information to only those who have completed the form and included the email address correctly onto the form. They will all get the, the details of how to join the meeting. If you, don't, if you haven't completed the form, please do so as soon as possible. The form is pinged on Dr. Sunday's page. It's also on the movement page, which is Movement Against Deception in the Church. We have a page and also we have group. So the meeting will start at 2 p.m. Kiev time tomorrow, 1st of July, and that is 12 noon UK time and 12 noon Nigeria time. We hope as many people as possible will be able to join us. We look forward to having the meeting with you. Dr. Sunday will be on live throughout the meeting. Just to warn you, the last meeting we had, which was the first meeting uh, last Friday, was four hours long. So it was four hours duration. So there's a, a real possibility that this is going to take long as well. So I suggest you have your snack and you have drinks and things available for you or uh, close to you so you wouldn't be interrupted because I promise you, you will not want to leave with some of the things that you will hear going by last week's meeting. So I hope you will join us again in 54 minutes now and also for the uh, Movement Against Deception meeting, which is tomorrow, 1st of July. 2 p.m. kids time, 12 noon, Nigeria and UK time. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you again in a few minutes. When 56, 50, no, not up to that, 54 minutes. Thank you again. Bye.